All right. Hello and welcome to the Gamers Block. Uh, so let's check if we're and yeah, we are streaming indeed on YouTube. So hello and welcome to the Gamers Block. I'm your friend and host Nicholas Arjilby, and tonight we're going to be continuing our real play of uh, Grounded Commonwealth, a mod for Fallout 4, which returns the game's demographics to those uh, characteristic of Atomic age america so let's just get into it folks now if you want to help the show like share subscribe all those cool things and also uh, you might want to go in the video description and check out radicaldose.com that's radicaldose.com uh, that's my new website well it's been around since january so i don't know if you're gonna call it new but in any case Lots of cool stuff over there. Today we published an account of our uh, uh, writer Conrad Schultz uh, of all the adventures and fun he had in the Canadian Army when he was a paratrooper, or I guess what were remained of the paratrooper corps after some shenanigans in Mogadishu. And um, uh, later today, which is in about three hours, my... Uh, my own article is going to drop about the happenings or lack thereof in the middle east and why do the sand people disappoint so because um yeah that's paladin dance my list of maintenance fixes keeps getting longer and longer dr ingram this frame is driving me crazy. I've got like three inches I can't even scratch. <laughs> That's clever. Uh, anyways, so, and also if you are into it, and I just, for weapon mods, might have one too. I know you are, uh, you might want to go into the video description and purchase the fine products of our friends and sponsors over at Alaska Chaga. That's alaskachaga.com. Uh, someone, someone always keeps reminding me not to say Alaska because uh, that's how we say it in Macedonia. That's how uh, you know they say it in the Slavic languages. But Americans, English, they misunderstand it. They, they don't understand. I'm referring to Alaska. So, oh wow. Let's keep moving. What are we going to do today? I for, and, uh, yeah, for people who have been watching, um... Oh, shit. Super mutants. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting super mutants. Ah. Get <laughs> Can't hit him from here. That's it. Are they all dead? Where's Paladin Dance? Let's go. Dance. Where you at, motherfucker? Well, I guess we're gonna have to go around. Dance, dance, baby. Hey, there you are.
All right. in this warehouse. They're really low-level super mutants, though. All right. Let's keep moving. Let's switch to the uh, troubleshooter. Because that's the anti robot weapon. And these guys look like robots to me. Custom house tower. Okay. That's it. Who were they fighting? I don't think we're fighting. No, we are not. The Raiders. Customs Tower. I guess we can go in and explore that.
Okay, so definitely super mutants uh, have been roaming around here, but this entrance is barred. I guess we could enter some other way. Why is there so much hang time? I, I guess uh, you gotta enter the the custom house from the from the other way. So I, is there a, center, a second entrance to the customs tower? That's a rad stag. Yeah. Well, sorry about that. Uh, it doesn't appear to be a second entrance to the customs tower. Hmm. Well, we shall press on. So my plan is to go to um, Good Neighbor and swap out Dance for um, McCready because uh, that's another companion that we haven't uh, picked up and we should, you know, we shouldn't Brahm and me, but... And I hear he's got an excellent perk related to him. Shit, that's a goon. Joe Spuckies, what's a Joe Spuckies? Hello? Did I just attack that harmless and, and, uh, non-aggressive cow. Well, in any case, let's head towards Good Neighbor. Hey, Todd from work is here, and he says hello, Nix and Chad. Well, hello, sir.
How do you do, Todd, from work? Anything good happening at work? Mm. Safety's off. I don't like the look of this place one bit. Yeah. Whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that come in peace malarkey. Let's just find some mods for the, uh, Oh, Dance loved that. Oh, good to know. Uh. Wow. Maybe I should do that at one of my settlements. Every weapon you see here. You means a lot to me that you made the library a safe place. Thanks again. Now you're here to trade. Now let's fire. I've got a few minutes to browse. Everything's guaranteed to last. Until it doesn't. <laughs> we can uh, uh sell her some of the uh some of these food the food that we've uh accumulated. There we go. Dance loves it when I modify weapons, huh? That's good to know. Brotherhood of Steel better stay out of good neighbor. Same. All right. Enjoy your stay. Need a place to stay? Try Hotel Rexford. Yeah. There you go. You still looking for work, McCready? That depends. You ready to fork over 250 caps? Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? You drive a hard bargain. But you just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's send, uh... Dance to Boston Airport. Okay, so McCready is now my. Oh shit! I need to. I need to get my shit from Dance. Here. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? I just want to trade a few things. Very well. Help yourself. Oh, he's got no head. <laughs> I think that's his. All right. You want to crawl across the Commonwealth? You should dump some stuff you're carrying. Hey. Need some? Yeah. Okay. So look at uh, weapons.
There we go. All right, let's get moving. Okay, so I heard that uh, MacReady likes it when I steal. So. Anytime you want me to carry some of that valuable gear you're lugging. Okay, doesn't dance doesn't like it. Let's wait for dance to get out of here. Okay, McCready didn't see me stealing that. There you go. You see me? Ah, yes. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So he has a cooldown, a cooldown period on the theft. Okay. Get out of here. So he likes this sort of uh, underhanded behavior, Mr. McCready. Yeah. Nothing says welcome like the stench of urine-soaked garbage. Hey. What do you want? <clears throat> what do you want? Your thoughts? Man, I could really use a cigarette. Mm. That was it. Sure. All right. So, what uh, missions do we have that need completing? I need to speak to Dr. Amari. Now I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time, but why you ship? That's over there in the memory den, I guess. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about the loan. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. <laughs> hmm. Amari's downstairs. He's been correct. Earful Amari, she's downstairs. Irma. Whatever you and Nick are up to, I don't need to know. Just don't let the big metal softy hurt himself, all right? I've been caught pickpocketing? Feeling eyes on my back. Who caught me pickpocketing? Luciano Villaboas says, Hola. Well, hola. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about the loan. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs. He's been correct. Here for Amari, she's downstairs. Irma. Whatever you and Nick are up to, I don't need to know. Just don't let the big metal softy hurt himself. All right? All right. Let's see what the uh, what the big fat deal is. Doctor Amari. Yes. Wait. I remember you. Memory inducement. Yeah, Vault One Eleven, right? What's this all about? We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Oh, boy. Yes, again. Every so often, people come asking me about delving into a dead person's brain. And the answer is always the same. The memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. 
Isn't there some way to make this work? This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. <sighs> Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? How much of the brain do you need exactly? Ah, oh boy. That's not encouraging. I suppose <laughs> I'll make do with whatever you have. Here's what I could find. Oh, what's this? This isn't a brain. <laughs> this is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it... Uh, yeah, a neural interface? Oh, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Nick's an older model since. Is he compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we're lucky, it should hook right in. But even if this works, Mr. Valentine would be taking a risk. I can't guarantee his safety. Don't worry about me, Amari. Let's do it. Yeah, I think Dr. Amari is one of the characters who's been changed by the mod. I think he used to be a woman in the vanilla. All right, let's do this. I don't, I don't know though. I've never played the vanilla game. cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive function could be done. Feeling any different? There's a lot of flash. Yes. Just static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has a kind of fail state. There's a lock on the memories in the input. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Yeah, let me think. The encryption is quite robust. But I think there might be a workaround. We would load you into the loungers alongside Valentine. Then run your cognitive functions parallel with his. In theory, you should be able to gain access while the lockout is focused on his mind. Any idea what I'm going to see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe, and not the whole brain. I doubt it'll be cohesive. Hmm. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> See you on the other side. I'm standing by. They're initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Demonic activity is coming from the input. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. One second. Can you hear me? Ah, good. Simulation appears to be working. Although the memories are quite fragmentary. Wow. I'll try to walk you through the intact memories. And hope we find one that gives us a clue to the Institute's location. So, this is the inside of Kellogg's brain. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Remember, you are experiencing these memories, Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. 
Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Mm. So he's from... You were always hoping for something better. You usually end up with something worse. I oh, was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world... People always hoping for something better. You usually end up with something worse. Hmm. What a... What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. The teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days, like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sinning you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. Take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless, but you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy, and all that on the radio, all useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. We'll let you know. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal geek. There. Try that. The thing about happiness is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. You focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. Uh, go more hike. Fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. That's the Golden Gate Bridge. Anything you want. A little Mary too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen. It's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got it. Well, let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Yeah, Gomer Hikes in chat says. 
Is this game just a guy sitting on a bed? Well, no, it's a lot more than that, but this segment is we're exploring the uh, memories of the mercenary Kellogg in order to find the Institute. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Hmm. Just so you know, they died like dogs. I found another and memory, Trey. Yeah, I'll connect you. there to help them. So, uh, someone killed uh, his family, I guess. Uh, that's a shame. Uh, Gilmore Hike says, I remember when I'd skip on cutscenes like this. Yeah, but I've never played this game before, and I don't, as a general rule, like to skip cutscenes, because I, I like the role-playing aspect of things. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. So, um... There was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. I hear you'll take care... I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. There was always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Hmm. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. Um, is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. He lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. All right, so let's explore more memories. Yeah, I don't usually skip uh, uh, cutscenes in video games because I like to pretend like I'm literally the guy. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. <laughs> Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't going to be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. So, first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more, and kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. Go with the Institute. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute, but I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. First synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more and kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. There we go. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. 
I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. They're getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Running out of brain here. Uh, ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Biogenic stasis suspended. Oh my god. Not How's now? Good. The Institute's yeah, main I'll try to locate another memory as quickly well. as I can. Please try they to remain something calm. done. They came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. Huh. But they needed me. I made sure they knew it. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a Dirty, contaminated. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> Guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's just all. Find it. Pond C6. Down the hall near the end. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never like to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. All right, so he knows he's dead. Wow. I mean, yeah, I guess we extracted the thing from his head just after we killed him. Mist in chat says, uh, they're giving me flashbacks to one time I got instituted. Is it over? Are we okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come here, baby. No, no, I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have back up. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. All right, we're good. Hey, man. I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Hey, is this guy voiced by Homer Simpson? Is that this whole setup son? in Diamond City was part this of some to be a very recent plan event. of the old man? So good news, I think. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. 
Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end to tie it up. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. <laughs> but it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Kellogg. It's okay. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Hmm. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Again, I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the growing sea. Here's his file. are gonna roll for this capture and return or just elimination elimination he was working on a highly classified program no kidding one of the top bioscience boys damn so I guess you're taking the kid back with you affirmative your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil you're taking me home to my father yes stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Holy shit. Bye. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Yeah, let me pull you out of there. Yeah, as soon as you're ready. <laughs> all right, so that's the extent of Kellogg's memories. Wow. side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Hmm. Am I okay? Are you seeing anything bad? Yeah, don't be alarmed. But I honestly don't know what to look for. As I said before, this is uncharted territory. But your neural and psychological readings have returned to normal. From a medical standpoint, you're fine. Do you want to talk about what happened in there? There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. W Virgil, th that scientist who escaped. I've never heard of any Institute scientist defecting. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? Yeah, that can't be right. No one would risk going there. Not even the hut. Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? Yeah, the name says it all. Radiation. Hmm. So much that nothing could possibly live there. Nothing. 
pleasant. And while navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new, the glowing sea could kill a man in seconds. That's why this doesn't make sense for her to flee into that hell. The exposure alone. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. Yeah, that must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw him off and be in an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same if you're going to follow him. I'll find a way to get through the rats. Don't worry. Good luck. <laughs> and be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. All right. Oh, so Curie can be helped. Hey, Twilight of the Gods says he's in chat and he says uh, he says some very interesting things. Uh, Mist says what I actually have a flashback to is Diablo. All right, so that's good to know. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> What's up with his voice? Right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, if you've got company already. We have to head into the Glowing Sea. Any advice? Hmm. I'm a synth, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me, but an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian angel you're looking for. That or you could buy up all the rad X and rad away you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. Hmm. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. All right, so let's get out of here and let's start. Uh, let's start uh, solving, uh, you know, problems in the Commonwealth again. So uh, Mist says that Diablo also has a a te uh, brain fetch quest. Yeah, so uh, that's good to know. Uh, what's his name? All right, so I didn't get the bonus. Yo, McCready, come, come, come here. So McCready likes it when uh, when I steal, so I was thinking, you know, may, let's steal in front of him. 
Yo. Hey. Need something? Head over there. If you can find a way to get to that, then you better show me. Go there. Get it. There's no way to get there. Over here. Easy. There. Are you kidding? I can't get to that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, I do not get the bonus. I guess there's a... I guess there's a time limitation. So let's get out of here. <laughs> Twilight of the Gods being silly in chat. You know, let's try not uh, not to get this chat uh, this channel banned, huh, mate? That would be greatly appreciated. Wonder if I can pickpocket someone for us to get McCready to like me. Yeah, the things I do for love. <laughs> Every weapon you see here could be the difference between death and... Don't be shy now. Chances... Now, come on. None of that. Sneaking means stealing. If shit starts going missing, we're gonna have a big problem. <clears throat> Your buddy McCready's got a ref here in Good Neighbor. Bad attitude. Good aim. <laughs> he didn't see me. I stole for nothing. Oh, I'm going to have to impress him some other way, I guess. I need to travel to Newton Residence in the far northwest of the Commonwealth. Well, I guess uh, we should fast travel. Newton Residence is over there. Okay, I see a Marler Queen. Should we fight her, or should we avoid the conflict? Oh boy. Things I do for XP. Come on, turn around and face me. Shit. So bright. stuck on this cliff face and she's coming this way <laughs> I 
she's fighting the Raiders. Which... Those are synths. They're also fighting her. Okay, now we gotta clean up the scents. Round of this. on the top floor. He's on the roof of that building, I think. Alright, so... YouTube has become such a bad app as uh, Twilight of the Gods. Eh, it's not that bad. I mean, 
it could be worse, but yeah, it is uh, censorious. It's uh, it's not bad though in the sense that it's no not functional. I mean, functions for me. Let's uh, quick save because I need to jump, and I'm still uh, reeling from the. Uh, existence of the uh, of the glitch okay so we need to be wait the, the Newton residence is, is is over there ah I guess it's over there okay so let's um, consume uh, right away and uh, get our radiation down have roasted Meyerwerk meats. That's delicious. Purified water. Yeah. There we go. Excellent. There we go. Although I suspect I'm going to regret this. Yeah, here be Meyerlurks, and I hate Meyerlurks. Okay, what the fuck do we have here? Oh, hello. Radaway right Mentats. Of feral ghouls. No matter. Ah, yes. There we go. Objectives is up on that cliff, so I guess we're going climbing. What's this? The edge of the Commonwealth or something? Is that firing I hear? How do I get up on that fucking hill? I guess we're gonna have to take the long way around. Yeah, that's the uh, northern edge of the Commonwealth. You go into uh, New Hampshire from here, or or Maine. One of my favorite things about playing these uh, video games, like it's, it, when when they're taking place in a real place, they really uh, teach you about the ge uh, geography of foreign lands, you know? And so, and understanding the geography of a foreign land, and especially acting it out in a game, I think it's very important to understanding the mentality of people who live there. So. I've been essentially romping through Massachusetts all the time I've been playing this game, right? And you sort of understand Massachusetts, you sort of start understanding the whole Massachusetts attitude towards... I cannot go that way. Why? Okay, what the fuck? Oh, oh, all right, all right, so this is the boundary of the Commonwealth. We cannot go that way. Yeah, very eloquent. And 
That is very far to the north. Wow. You sort of understand that Massachusetts is a place which is very civilized. Like, you're never really far away from civilization. Not like in other places of America, because in America there's there could be like miles upon miles of wilderness. But Massachusetts, you're, there's always something going on. Uh, some, some sort Damn of... Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where's my daughter? Clark, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there. Someone has her. It could be raiders or gunners or God knows what else. What? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. Sorry. I have this habit of running straight towards signs of trouble. Come to think of it, that explains a lot. A good Samaritan? Fine. I'm out of options anyway, if you want to hear about it. My daughter is missing. It all started with this damn radio. Our daughter Kelly is a bit of a tomboy. She likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Let's talk money. Investigations for the missing aren't cheap. Of course. Uh, how does 350 caps sound? If she went far, that means travel expenses. We could make it 400. Don't hold out on me. You want to find your daughter, right? 500 caps. That's all we have. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. All right. Okay, let's, uh... Let's see. Nothing but static. Kelly's project. Um, hello? Testing? <clears throat> project log. Holiday player. Managed to strip out the parts from this thing and make something that's easier to move around. Granddad always said you need to make a record when you start something. You hmm. know, in case you have to go back to it. So, I guess I'm going to start doing that. Maybe I should start with an inventory of all the parts I found? Kelly! Your father needs help with the boat! I'll be right there. Oh, damn. Was I recording that? Ugh. Project log. Kitchen mixer. The circuits are still good, but all the mechanical parts are rusted through. Maybe I can... All right, everyone, I'll be back in a few days. Was there anything else we needed from the city? Wait, you're going now? No! Wait, Dad, I could come with you. I... It's better if I go alone, Kelly. Don't worry. I have your list. You... You don't know what half that list is, Dad. I can help you. Really, I'll be... I said no. I... I I'm sorry. You're safe here, okay? Just stay put for me. Uh, okay. I know you're disappointed, but I won't be long. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Project log? Lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. Where sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
that's entirely possible. I mean, she's full of energy. You gotta find ways for her to expend it. It's it's what you do with young ch children. And I guess she's 19, not that young, but it's how you, you handle people, fundamentally. Project log? Radio. Correction? Working. Radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Okay, so no clues as to whom she was communicating with. she was kidnapped by the Institute. Uh, oh, she has another one. Project blog, Radiation King Television. Mom says these things actually used to broadcast pictures and sounds back before the war. She also mentioned that some of the ruins of the television studios are still around if you head to the city. Of course, she wasn't too happy when I asked if we could make a trip out there. Uh, I'm getting off track. I managed to repair the vacuum tubes and got the power working again, but, well, it's not like there's any working signal for this thing to receive. Hmm. I'm just going to start stripping this thing for parts moving forward. Okay, so let's go, um, uh, let's go see in this, in this pier. Maybe she, maybe she decked around with the boats. Life preserver. No, that's not. It's too much light. That's a fishing trawler. All right. So I don't see any any hollow tapes here. Hello, cat. Oh, there's a cat. Maybe that's a clue. I don't know what that is. No oh, carrots. Swings. Maybe there's some clues here. No? Let's speak to the parents then. I think I uh, searched the entire house. Mrs. Newton. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kelly was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. Mm. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Clark can be overprotective. I'd like to know more about Kelly. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I, I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Newton. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more, all of us, ever since Kelly's grandfather passed away. He was the only one that could really talk to her. Clark and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started mm. staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. You and your husband don't seem to agree about 
why your daughter left. We both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Clark still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. Hmm. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Nothing else right now. Mr. Newton. Did you have questions about my daughter? Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again, but there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something like she usually does. Someone made contact with her and then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? Anything more you can tell me about Kelly? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kelly picked up the knack. He... passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts of... I kept telling him he was getting too old. Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife says she left on her own, but you said it was kidnappers. I know it was kidnappers. Kelly is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Robin. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. All right, so let's uh, check out the boathouse because uh, that's that's where the investigation leads. You got to follow the evidence. Uh, you got to resist the uh, temptation to just engage in uh, narrative yeah, because that's what you I mean. I have a bit of a background in law, right? Not exactly in law enforcement, uh, but same principle applies or should apply at any rate. Uh, not always. Let's see, okay, so this is the boathouse. This is where the grandfather lived. Got a clipboard. No. You shouldn't make any adjustment, uh, any... Okay, that, that thing, thing doesn't work, uh, the uh, terminal. That's a lot of machines, economy, wonder, glue. Grandfather's note. If you ever get locked out of the safe, then the answer is here in the boathouse. Picture where the key is. Love, Granddad. Well, yeah. We can always just pick it. <laughs> there it is. Yes. You teach me that sometime. Project log? Um, myself. Huh. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I, I'm going to go kill for a drink. to meet these synths. I, I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. 
So is she a synth? That's interesting. I need to speak to, to Clark Newton to see what he... Okay, so and this is the Far Harbor DLC. Excuse me, Mr. Newton? Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter is human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's, that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Are you sure she's human, Mrs. Newton? Yes, I know my daughter, and she hasn't changed. She's not some replacement. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kelly went, Detective? I think Kelly took off somewhere up north. Do you know what's up there? Where? Specifically? I've been up the coast, almost to where the water starts to freeze, but that's a lot of miles. That's Canada. He's been... I don't think Newfoundland freezes. He he might have been as far north as Labrador. Of course, the climate might have changed in the Fallout universe. I think I know where Kelly went. A place called Far Harbor. That's a lot. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her, please. Take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it's built for distance. What can I expect out there, Clark? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father didn't want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. Huh. I'll get to the bottom of this, Clark. Thank you. And here, the payment we discussed. I'll have something more when Kelly is safely back home. All right. I... Okay, I can tell the Brotherhood about that synth refuge. Uh, let's investigate. Let's see what's going on. Okay, let's travel to Far Harbor. Alright, so I hear this is one of the DLCs. Oh god, it's night. Let's, uh, let's head to Far Harbor. Oh shit, did I leave McCready behind? Huh. The town of Far Harbor is built entirely on a coastal pier on the edge of the island. Alright. Holy shit, this is bleak. <laughs> Yeah, this is far north. This is probably Canada. Or Maine. <laughs> Jeez. Bleak as fuck. Wow. God fucking bless America. Caught us during a difficult time. <laughs> but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, what's your business? What is this place? Well, in ancient times, this used to be a tourist town. <laughs> My people have lived here and on the island for generations. But now everyone's crowded onto the docks just trying to survive another day. We have more than our fair share of problems. You aren't here to add to them, are you? 
A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kelly may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through all right. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog. You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hull never lets us down. Now follow me. Be careful on the hull, stranger. Don't fall off. If you do, we might not be able to rescue you in time. All right, so we're going to be fighting uh, enemies. Man the hull. Something's out there. You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill. Peeled, everyone. Well, what are we looking for? Open the gate. I've got wounded out here. Mariner, there's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Joker, look on. Defend yourself. Ready, all. Fire at will. What are those? on the fog. Something's coming. I gotta speak to that captain fella. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. Mm. But for your help when we needed it, you deserved it. What's the fog? Hmm. Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it. The deep fog hard fallout and as deadly as that is that's only part of the problem things live in the fog thrive you think what attacked the harbor's bad there's far worse further inland mm. if you manage to survive despite all that you must be tough <laughs> ornery more like i just i'm done cowering behind your damn hull avery time you let me deal with the real problem with the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. But the fog's been here forever. Long before the children of Adam ever showed up. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. That might be a coincidence, Alan. We just don't know. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam, which is radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace treaty with them, until there was an incident between their leader and Alan Lee here. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. Well, I won't argue that they aren't a crazy lot, but I'm not convinced they've actually done anything. What happened between Alan and the preacher? Well, the preacher claims that Alan pulled a gun on him without provocation, but Alan claims the preacher went to pull his own gun first. We don't have police or any kind of law enforcement, just custom and popular sentiment. As for who was in the wrong, don't know, wasn't there. But since then, relations have soured. Have the children made the fog worse? Hard to say for sure. It's possible, but there isn't any hard proof. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. Only after the children came. You know as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one has proof. 
Sounds like you should deal with the children of Adam. Permanently. The mainlander sees the sense in all this. Enough, Alan. I'm gonna do everything I can to keep the peace here. Got it? Sorry for all, uh, that. You're here for Kelly, right? She headed inland to the synth refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Heh. <laughs> What's Old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But, uh, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. Hmm. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Thanks for the info. <laughs> Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar, the last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. <laughs> so apparently this is uh, Maine. Far Harbor, Maine. Not, uh, I thought it was Canada. But, uh, okay. So, help the citizens of, uh, of, uh, Far Harbor. Let's, uh... Let's turn off, uh, tracking for all these, uh, qu other quests. Uh, let's focus on Far Harbor for now. There we go. I need to speak to old Longfellow and um, see what these people need. Hello. Hey there. We'll secure the area. Yeah, I've always found something attractive about these rugged women. Hey. You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. What family are you talking about? I was just about to explain. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Let me guess. I'm the mysterious stranger who's going to help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now... On to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame. Where did you say these ghouls were? National Park Campground. It's pretty much straight west of here. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. Alright. Blood Tide. Uh, God of War in chat asks, What kind of hats do you like to wear? 
Uh, it depends on uh, what I'm doing and where I'm going. So, uh, if I'm wearing more formal clothes, I prefer combining them with my uh, fedoras. Hello. <coughs> Mariner says the fog's alive. I can hear you. So mind what you say. Uh, but uh, for more casual wear, I prefer. Hey, the hull definitely took a real beating, but you helped to keep her standing, and I'm grateful. They call me the Mariner. I'm practically the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well. Besides Captain Avery. Mm -hmm. For helping you out, I expect some appreciation in the form of caps. You and me both. <laughs> For ages, I've been basically trying to maintain this wall all by myself. But no one ever seems to be able to help. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. So I'd be risking my life for only 450 caps. I'm a bit short on caps, but I have old Jimmy's shotgun I can give you. And heavens know he can't use it anymore. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagles Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Thanks, Mainlander. All right. So this guy needs power tools. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's go into the last plank and speak to what's his name? Ah. Yes. That's some beautiful music. So yeah, so for more, but for more casual. Um, Context, God of War. I, uh, I prefer, uh, flat caps and, uh, uh my, I, I have a Coppola. I got it in Italy, of all places. I, actually, Sicily. I bought it in Sicily. And that's a traditional Italian cat. I, I also have a canvas flat cap for summer. I have several wool flat caps for winter. In various colors and and uh, dispositions, just to 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 match with my my nice coats. Okay, so we're overloaded. Boat. Good neighbor was starting to wear out. It's welcome. Uh. What makes you say that? Good neighbor was a good place to look for work, but a crappy place to hang your hat. Yeah. Let's put it this way: can't get much rest when you're sleeping with one eye open. Still. It was the best place for me to set up shop. Diamond City's goons would have run me out of town, and wandering the Commonwealth alone isn't the brightest plan when you're hard up for caps. Setting up shop? What do you mean? I needed somewhere to hang out so that people could find me when they required my services. The folks in Good Neighbor tended to not ask too many questions, which suited my <laughs> needs. So, I made a deal with Hancock and started waiting for the caps to roll in. Caps aren't worth risking your life. Easy for you to say. Right now, I need every cap I can get. Are caps really that important to you? I don't have much of a choice. Uh, I don't usually go around sharing stuff like this, but you've been pretty straight with me, so I'm going to be straight with you. It's those two assholes. <clears throat> those two idiots you saw me talking to at the third rail. Winlock and Barnes. They've been hounding me for months, and it's been driving off clients. No one wants to touch me once they learn I used to run with the gunners. And I figured if I could get enough caps together, maybe I could buy them out. Just kill them and be done with it. If it was that simple, I would have done it already. Winlock and Barnes have a small army of gunners with them at all times. They might decide to just keep the caps and put a bullet in my head for good measure. If I set up a place to meet them, I'm sure they'd roll in with everyone they've got. Unless, maybe you and I could pay them a little visit and put an end to them before they realize what's going on. Before you get that look on your face, let me just say that I wouldn't even be asking if I didn't trust you. If you need my help, I'm there. Wow. I don't know what to say. Truth is, I've been on my own since I was a kid. And going it alone out here is rough. It wears you down after a while. Unless you're part of a group or a town or, well, something. You really can't rely on anyone but yourself. That said, you and me, we see eye to eye on most things. 
Not saying we're gonna be best friends or anything, but I figured we know each other well enough now that it was all right for me to ask you a favor. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna make this easy on you. You feel like helping me with this? Head over to the Mass Pike Interchange and we'll take them down. If you don't, I'm not going to hold it against you. Either way, thanks for hearing me out. It's nice to know that you care. All right. Hey. Yeah, what is it? Okay, so pick up some of this garbage that I'm carting around. Okay, and let's speak to this. Everyone. Anything like you? Everyone. Yes, Kitty. We're trying to have a conversation here. Shut your mouths. Open your damned ears. So the bugs are coming for us. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Toy map markers. Any better There's way of greeting it than to have another round? You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths. Last fell, I couldn't keep up. Here's some mitts! Mitts! Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? This girl's all her family has. <laughs> You'd have to be a real wretch not to give a damn. Bah! <laughs> this goes against all reason, but I can get you to Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Brad, X, and the like. Then the real work can begin. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. All right, so let's follow old Longfellow. Mist says she uh, that uh, uh, Kelly's mother didn't sound very confident for a biological mother, and he says that was jarring. I think Mist is a little is a little behind. You might want to take this for the road. Meyer alert jerky. Old mountain trail what we're doing. Fog ain't like nothing you see in the copper. Mainlanders think a dose of rat away is all Alright, so I guess we need to put on the hazmat suit. What do you need? <laughs> Tracks. Fresh ones. Trappers are there. When the bullets start flying, find cover. We need to we need to be hiding. Fresh lobster. <laughs> what was that? You're dead. Bring it on. I don't see him. Oh, I see you. There we go. Uh, Miss says was referring to the mercenary guy's voiceover clip from it was used in the intro to the TRS show The Third Rail. A little immersion breaking. I can't hear anything he's saying.
Yeah, I, I, I've never really listened to much TRS. Uh, TDS, I've listened to almost nothing. I've only caught some, uh... Uh, Fash the Nation. Um, okay. I love it. I mean, uh, we recently, I think I'm pretty confident. Of Fog eventually rolled back. People resettled, but they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. I just love this feeling of exploring a new area. I miss it from the. Someone or something else here. Got you. That's a mole rat, right? Oh. I know. Are those edible? Yeah, like I said, I've never really watched a lot of uh, Fast the Nation. I mean, uh, TDS or TRS. Uh, it's it's amazing to me just. It's amazing to me just how much. Where's McCready? Yo, McCready. How much influence they, these guys have had. And, I mean, not saying this in a bad way, but uh, compared to how little <laughs> I've listened to them, uh, you know, it just, just uh, seems like I've been completely out of it, and I shouldn't have been. Okay, McCready's not getting lost, that's good. A lot of radioactive barrels on the island. One of them children of Adam creatures started off as pests. Now they're more like a menace. Do hmm. not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. 
What's Acadia done to make you just trust me? They supply Far Harbor with the means to turn back Adam's holy fog. You'd do well to avoid such creatures, and instead, seek the only true master of this land. All right, I'm listening. Tell me about Adam. Tell you? Look around. You stride through his kingdom. A land blanketed beneath sacred fog. A land Adam has claimed for his children. And you may join our family, if he deems you worthy. Worthy? What do I have to do to join? There is a ritual his children must perform. If you succeed, you will be rewarded with entrance into our family. On second thought, I'm good. So be it. But I would be mindful where you step. After all, you are in Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. Yeah, I'm not into weird religious the cults. The air is clean. No fog. The gate is not too far now. Okay, so this is Acadia. All right, let's uh, let's change our outfit. No, there we go. And we've arrived. Acadia's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with her, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. Speak up soon. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Maybe later, Long Fellow. All right. Okay, I can. But I'm serious about the offer. If you ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together, I could think of worse things to do. Damn. Can't remember if I had my bath this week or not. Excuse me. We heading out? Not yet. Just stay put for now. Right. All right. So let's just uh, track the. Uh... Okay. I need to speak to Captain Avery as well. Let's track the uh, Far Harbor missions because, uh, yeah. Maybe I should pick up uh, Longfellow as my companion. And I can always make good with McCready in the Commonwealth. That's right. Let's get going. After you then. Let's uh, send McCready to hmm. Longfellow's cabin. Hey. There you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. I just want to trade a few things. Oh, I see. All I'm good for is hauling your crap. <laughs> 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 uh. Want to hand me some of that stuff hey. you're lugging around?
right. Oh. Nice. Ammunition. Okay, let's go into Acadia, see what's what with uh, Kelly. Okay, so this is an old bunker. Very secure location. Uh, it's really high up, so there's no fog. Hmm. Let's go inside. an extensive underground fortification. You know, old Longfellow looks like an old salt. Maybe he'll, uh... Where is he? Maybe he'll like it if I drink booze. I should give him booze. Do I have any? You know, when I first Here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. What are you? I told you. I'm the old synth on the mountain. <laughs> I know the plastic skin and tubes out the back can be unsettling, but I want to ask you to look past that. Tell me why you're here, and I'll try to help you. I came here looking for Kelly Newton. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you had for the sake of someone else. Kelly is here. She's safe and unharmed. And you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me. Do you think Kelly is a synth? Why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question. And the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kelly, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? I'm not gonna tell my life story to someone I barely know. Let's hear your answer first. I was in a laboratory, in the Institute. They were pulling pieces of my head out. Hmm. Something about wanting to test some neural process. That was every day for months. Strapped down. 
operated on, and then I was out. The Institute has fail-safes to strip memories that could identify where they are, how to find them. But I do remember being quite content. I was free. That is my earliest memory. Now, yours? I was with my wife. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my boy, Sean. And, uh... <laughs> well, a lot's happened since then. But no memories before then? No <laughs> childhood? Your first best friend? Your first... kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings... That's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. Shit. Reset the game, guys. Oh. Okay, so quick save. And, uh... Sorry, it just navigated outside of the, uh... Window because I ran out of disk space and I had... I'm so, you know, no recording anymore. Jesus Christ. Because I record these things so I can clip out any uh, interesting things that happen, like, uh, you know, some of the epic battles. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, these things happen. I've heard enough. Where's Kelly Newton? Of course. Kelly is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else before you go? So everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. You're from the Commonwealth, like Kelly, yes? I'm sure you've had your own experiences with my kind. I'd like to hear about your experiences first. After I left the Commonwealth, it was decades before I met another of my kind. At first, I didn't believe it. I'm a prototype. I escaped long before synths could pass for human. I thought the person I was talking to was deluded at first. And then I realized the truth. That we were the same. I didn't know it then, but that's when Acadia really started. I've been impressed with the sense I've come across. That's good to hear. I hope your opinion of us only continues to get better. Now, was there anything else? I should get going. Of course. Let's speak to Kelly. Uh... Help the synths. Okay, uh, so there's a bunch of uh, radiant quests here as well. Let's uh, track those as well. Can't I talk to her? Hi. Hi. Um. 
Excuse me. Nobody speaks to me. Is this a glitch? Circuitry is completely fried. Kelly. Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They... they did what? You came all this way for me. Went to some trouble, in fact. Took a walk through the fog to find you. Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me. Hmm? They wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. Kelly, listen to me. You're not a sin. Believe me, I've thought about that. How you can never really know. But it just answers so many questions. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? You haven't replaced anyone. Clark and Robin are still your parents. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a sin, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things track down answers that's what you do right that's why you came after me what if i told you that there's a secret a big secret here on this island something way more important than just one lost girl all right i'm listening okay where to begin you saw all those computers that dima's hooked up to right they hold his memories or offload data from his brain or maybe some combination of both well Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them, and, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there, and that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. Dima turning on Far Harbor? Now that would be cause for concern. You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. I'll help if I can. But that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but... I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide and eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Step aside and let the master hacker show you how it's done. If you're sure. Good luck. Once you have something, let me know. Whatever we find out, I hope there's a way to make some caps out of it. I swear, someone has the key to that storage room. Maybe Toth? He's always moving supplies around as they come in. Right, so, uh... Oh, we can level up. Wow. Well, it's I like I said. We're, I'm going to boost. Uh, uh, what do you call them? I'm going to boost the basic skills until that I've maxed them all out because that seems like uh, the smartest thing to do. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, let's hack Faraday's terminal. These are all on the upper floor, so I better not get caught doing anything. Yes. Hey. Huh? 
I'm from the Brotherhood and I'm here to help. Yeah, that's clever. Yes. Okay, so I guess we're gonna eavesdrop on the uh, meeting. We can do that. Uh, hello. Well, if we cannot find the uh, the terminal and hack it, we can always do that. No sense turning your nose up at something that might be useful. Let's see. We have surrounding, furnishings, personality, assassinate, upholstered, and combination. Let's try uh, surrounding. Likeness zero. Okay, that's not. Uh, let's see. So this, so it's not personality then. Hmm. And it's not combination. Let's see, upholstered. Likeness one. Assassination. Sweet. There is good. Ah. Remote door control. Open the door. There we go. to be accepting of everything. So maybe the synths are behind the uh, fog at uh, Far Harbor. Okay. Just once, let me find a pair of socks that don't have holes. In. <coughs> Why is nobody speaking to me? I'm loving this creepy ass music.
that's Dima. Well, I can confront him directly. Or... I could just... Let's see... Hack Faraday's terminal. Descending. Incendiary. Monitoring. Mysterious. Contending. And resounding. Likeness 3. From resounding. So it's probably monitoring. Yeah. System status. Array status online. Memory integrity 94.7%. CPU load 31. Array 17 online. Offline. Things are bad. Far Harbor and the Children, Madam, are at the brink of warring with each other, and we're caught in the middle. It's the fog condensers. We just wanted to protect those people from being wiped out by the fog, but the Children of Adam think that's an affront to their god. They want the fog to spread all over the island, specifically Far Harbor. The people of Far Harbor should hate them right back. The chain blame the Children of Adam for spreading the fog though that's scientifically unlikely. If Confessor Martin was still in charge of the Children of Adam, we might have better chances. Dima and the old Confessor go way back. Martin was the founder that found Dima in the old submarine base. When Acadia was founded, it was Dima who gifted Martin and all his followers with the base to serve as their new home. They were named the base Nucleus, and we were originally excited to be working together, making the island a safer place for everyone. But now Confessor Martin has disappeared and High Confessor Tectus is taking charge. He's a dangerous megalomaniac who wants to destroy Far Harbor at all costs, and he's been threatening us to help him. Worse, Dima left behind his original memory banks in the Nucleus when he left to found Acadia. He blames himself for his lack of judgment, but he's too hard on himself. The children of Adam were our friends back when Martin was in charge, and those memory banks would have been difficult to transport. Dima had plenty of reason to believe there would be safe locked behind the pre-war defense that Martin promised to never tamper with. Dima has been on this island more than a century. Anything could be in those memory banks. If the children of Adam find a way to access all that data, they could find something that would threaten the whole island. We're running out of time. I've convinced Dima that we need to send someone to get his memories back. Interfacing with Dima's offloaded data won't be easy for someone else. So we're working on a computer program together. The program includes a set of instructions that Dima is going to make to help our agent once they're inside the simulation. We'll also need tools to hack through the internal security protocols that the memory banks have. It's just saying Chase, but Dima thinks that's too risky. The children of Adam know her, and if she's spotted, then it's war. We need to send someone else, if possible. But who? So I guess that's me. Okay, let's check the data. Not exactly subtle, am I? some of your memories behind in an old submarine base that you're worried the children of Adam will get to them you've been busy I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us huh. I suppose you have maybe this is an opportunity for both of us I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam linking them back to Acadia but you you're new to the island what are you planning, Dima? Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me? About Far Harbor, the children of Adam, or my memories? You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I 
proposed a trade, we would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay, in return for them being a lifeline to the outside world, a safe dock, and a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent, and their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. The children of Adam on this island, you were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit... different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left, found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong, just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the Children of Adam. I thought they were safe. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the Children of Adam. Gain access to their base. In the old command center, guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. So, how does this program work? There will be a fairly ordinary-looking terminal with some... attachments. The program will give you access to the terminal. Once you attempt to obtain a memory, your perspective might... shift a little. Hmm. <laughs> Just relax, then. The program will explain things to you as you need them. Actually, I already have the program. I was thorough. Well... I guess that just means I've picked the right person for the job. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. I've got no love for those mindless fanatics. I won't complain if it comes to violence, Phil. All right, so maybe if I, I can improve my relations with old Longfellow if I kill the children of La Adam. To be honest, I'm a little creeped out by their behavior myself. Uh, you know, who the hell worships radiation? I mean, that's kind of the thing, though. You know, the weak-minded will always worship strength. They will worship that which they perceive to be strong, even though if it tries to kill them, like radiation. I guess that's why so many white people are, are pro-Russia, or pro-China, or pro-Arab world, or pro-Israel for that matter. All of these, uh, you know, powers, they hate white people. But, you know, that's your, that's your thing, right? You, you, you're overwhelmed by their supposed power. Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get the children of Adam, of course. I'm getting paid for all this, right? Don't worry. 
I have money. Not to mention the fact that you'll have whatever secrets are in Dima's earliest memories. He lived on the island for almost a century before building Acadia. He has to know about some treasure somewhere, don't you think? I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. So, say I get the memory. What then? If it's something that would really threaten the island, then it's better out of the hands of the Children of Adam. Or Far Harbor, even. And if Dima really can't be trusted, we'll have his own memories to confront him with. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. Alright. Oh, we've leveled up again. Okay, so let's boost uh, agility. And pretty soon we'll have boosted out... Uh, okay, three more levels, and we'll have boosted out all these, and then there's luck. Uh, right, so let's a look at the data. And let's get out of Acadia. Okay. Mist says, sounded like a uh, YouTube shorts material. Well, if you want it, you, you can clip the thing, but <laughs> because uh, because my, uh, my computer stopped recording, <coughs> I, I cannot interact with these people. That's a shame. Let's get out of here, though. Uh, if you want to, you can clip that, because, but my, my OBS stopped recording because I'm out of space on this computer, apparently. Oh, it's night. Well. Let's, uh, let's go upstairs. I think there's a bed here. And we'll sleep through the night so we don't have to, uh, we don't have to travel through the island at night. That sounds like it could be dangerous. So. Let's sleep for 10 hours. Outpost Zimonia is under attack. Oh, shit. Well, that's all the way in the Commonwealth. Can I fast travel to there? Or Harbor. Yeah, it's, it's a big place. Okay, so... Oh, I, I need to pick up um, uh, McCready from Longfellow's cabin. And then we're going to go to Outpost Zimonia, and then we can actually complete his thing at the Mass Pike Interchange. And then we're going to come back to Far Harbor and do the Far Harbor quests. Um,
go. Yeah. Hello. straight with you. It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you if you're up for it. Besides, I know you're tougher than you look. Just tell me the problem. We get our drinking water from a purifier not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when the Mirelurks hit us. And I'm afraid they might have got him too. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, maybe you could get those fog condensers back online. If you're up to it, just head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. All right. I'll head out there now. Good. Our water supply won't last much longer. <sighs> Whatever. Ah, you then. Are you that detective I've heard about? I might be. Depends on what this is about. I haven't been able to find any of the local police force. The louts? I don't want to start a panic, but, well, we may have a murder on our hands, and we need an outside set of eyes. Is this conversation on the clock? Oh, yes. Well, I suppose I do have a bit of petty cash on me that I could provide for your time. Will you help us solve <laughs> this heinous crime? Where did the crime take place? At the Cliff's Edge Hotel, just north of the town. Please, you must help us. Every moment we wait, our residents are at risk. Who's... The victim. Well, we want to keep this out of the tabloids, but it's Ezra Parker, the financier of the hotel. Will you help us? There may still be a murderer at large. Who are your employers? I shouldn't say out here in the open, but my employers are quite wealthy, as are the other patrons of the hotel. Please, you must help us. Every moment we wait, our residents are at risk. Okay, I'll help. Oh, thank goodness. Shall I guide you to the Cliff's Edge Hotel now? Go ahead. I'll meet you there. Very good. I shall meet you at the main entrance to the hotel. Police sell guns. Over by the tourist shop. Okay, Longfellow's cabin is over there. So let's head over there, pick up McCready. Oh, cooking station. Let's cook. Damn near lost a finger last time I tried. Okay, so uh You must think I'm nuts to be fishing in this boat. Uh, okay, let's just <laughs> how, how, do, how can I get up there? How can I get up to Longfellow's cabin? Alright. God of War asks, are you watching any enemies right now? Uh, no. But I am watching The Adventures of Tintin. That's a cartoon. It's not an anime, but you know, I guess it counts. I, uh, where are you at, uh, McCready? Are you there? Excuse me. There you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. You ready to head out? Are you kidding me? I've been bored out of my mind. Hey. What are you heading out? I just need to trade some things with you. Sure thing. All right.
carry all that stuff. Hey. Just let me carry some. Some of it for you. All right, so let's just uh, fast travel to the Commonwealth, to Alpo Zimonia, and finally to the interchange. Maybe I can tell the Newtons where their daughter is. They're not here? Oh. My daughter is human. She's not a synth. Kelly is all right, but there's some problems up north she wants me to deal with before she'll think about coming home. So my baby is alive? If she needs help, please do everything you can. I just want her to come home. McCready liked that. Okay. Uh, where's Newton? Where's the father? Right, so let's head to Outpost. Eliminate the Feral Ghouls. Oh yeah, let's turn off the... Uh, Outpost Simonia. All right. Excuse me. Thanks for your help, pal. I hate raiders. I kill them every chance I get. I'm glad you're on our side. Anyway, we appreciate the help. Maybe some of these things need fixing. Where's McCready? Okay, this place needs uh, improved defenses. Let's get to building. Oh no, you're uh... Let's send him to the slob. Uh, 
and finally let's build more beds. That's uh, <laughs> it's a little cramped. This place really is cramped. Uh, we need to build a prefab house first. But the terrain is so uneven, we have nowhere to build it. Jesus Christ. Very, very cramped conditions. let you go to Abernathy Farm. There should be room there and you there to Taffington Boathouse. And I need to send one more person away. send you to yeah I guess I could send you to Taffington Boathouse as well all right well we got that out of the way so Let's head to that exchange, or, you know, we could get to Taffington Boathouse and maybe solve some of their problems. Or maybe we could do that there. Where is Taffington Bone Boathouse? Tch. Well, it doesn't really matter. Let's head out to the uh, Mass Pike Interchange and take care of those gooners. And after that, we are going to be uh, ending this stream. So I fast travel to a nearby location because I want to sneak up on those fucks. I'll maybe use the element of surprise in as much as possible to, to hit them. Ok, 
Okay, I don't really see anyone. Up there. Alright, Grimlock and Varn should be here. Let's take him down. That could be a dummy. That looks like a dummy to me. That's one gooner down. That guy could be directly above us. Or not. There's a gunner private. Okay, there's at least two gooners on our level. I see them. There's still a little aggro from that shot. Yeah, I see the one little guy. He's up on that scaffolding. Or okay, I just lost him. We're splitting all that, right? I see you, you piece of shit. Oh. Saltrons. That's McCready. McCready, get back here. The companion AI isn't very good with stealth, huh? Just fucking doing, huh? Fucking gooners. No gooning allowed. Never goon. McCready. Hey. What's up? Over here. Over here. So, how do we use this? Heads up. Need something? Move here. Easy. Here. All right. Go check that out. Sure, no sweat. Enemy has fled the combat zone. Standing down. Shit. McCready, come with me. Nah, he's gonna have to... Why can't he get on the flat platform? Yo, psst. I'll take care of it. Here. Yep, you got it. Take a look. Sure, no sweat. Over there. I'll take care of it. All right. Psst. Yeah, what is it? Sensor alert. I'm contact.
kind of sustained fire, that's that's an that's an NG tower. That guy's unaware still. All right. Alright, so we killed those two guys. Speak to McCready now. Heads up. Well, excuse me. They should send a message to the gunners to stay off my back. I'm sure they heard you loud and clear. Definitely. The gunners, it's always about the bottom line. And they just lost this entire way station, and that cost them big. Besides, they have no way of knowing I was involved. Anyway, I guess I owe you a favor now. After all, you hired me, but I'm the one that dragged you out of here. Hmm. You don't owe me. You clearly needed the help. Sure, but I like everything to remain nice and even. And you're one up on me. I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you back the caps you paid me in good neighbor. I'll still stick with you because that was part of the original deal, but... Now we're even. There you go. I guess we're done here. Lead on, boss. Excellent. I need to continue traveling with McCready. Alright, that was a wild mongrel. Alright, so... Oh, shit. Uh... I guess this has been the gamer's block. I'm your friend and host, Nicholas R. Jovi, and tonight we were playing uh, uh, Grounded Commonwealth, a Fallout 4 mod which returns the game's demographics th to those uh, that would be uh, expected of uh, Atomic Age America. And. What can I say? Like, share, subscribe, all those cool things, support the show. Also make sure to check out the fine products of our friends and sponsors at alaskachaga.com. That's alaskachaga.com, link in the description. And also check out my new webzine, uh, radicaldose.com. That's radicaldose.com. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, how long are we going to call it new? Because uh, it is, um, what do you call it? It's, it's, it's already close to three months old. But yeah, this has been the uh, gamer's block. Let me just get off this interchange and we'll call it a day. Ooh, I forgot to loot the Assaulter Tron. There we go. Oh! <laughs> Almost got away from me there. <laughs> 